I think I was born into this world to be a little bit skeptical. And when I see people showcasing their productivity systems on YouTube, including myself, I imagine, uh, that arrow points back at me and I'm like, how sustainable is this in the long run? How do you actually apply this in real life? Do you actually do this every Sunday or Monday or whatever? And for me, part of the thing is that it often looks very rigid and I struggle operating within a rigid system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I start the week in Tana or how I might start the week in general. And yeah, basically raw, unscripted, get into Tana and show you what it is that I want to do. And simply it's just processing notes, having a look at my calendar and then doing a little bit of planning. So if you come into Tana, you'll see things are looking a lot different from the last few videos potentially that I've, I've released. And this is my day node. Things are very empty at the moment, but this is what I'm going to show you. So on the right here, you'll see that they've got this agenda and this is new now where you can integrate with your different calendars. So you can see here, I've got these different meetings or different events. These blue ones come from my personal calendar and these red ones come from my work calendar. And if I go into this work calendar over here, it will have the meeting, but I'm not going to go into that because it's got the person's email address there and the blue ones don't have the hashtag meeting. Okay, so I can see everything that's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. If I just go to yesterday, uh, yesterday over there, you'll also see there that it like populates my, my calendar from all the days. So instead of like trying to like, keep track of all things that I'm doing, like in a journal or whatever, now I just put everything in my calendar and I can see it looking back in Tana or yeah, in Google. So uh, the first thing that I want to do is just see like what I didn't do from last week or what I want to do this week. So if I right click on this button here and I say go to this week, I'm going to say control click that to open it up in the right. There's a bunch of things that I put here last week, which are things that I want to focus on. So ask Yaku for PDF on their course, follow up with Bridget. And I just want to say the parent time frame here is July, July. Okay, cool. And that's just something which I've done for myself might fade away in, in the future, but yeah. And if I go to, let's say last week, all the things that I didn't do. Okay. So I followed up here. I want to just cut. I'm literally just, instead of trying to you know, manage all these tasks in like some list format, what I'm doing is thinking about the timeframes as buckets. So the day is a bucket, the week is a bucket, and I'm just cutting and pasting a whole bunch of things now. So you can put dates, you can like use super tags to do this, but I've just found the simplest, most frictionless way is to like copy and paste these things in here. So I think of those tasks as a bucket and I move those different items across. Okay. So this is now, yeah, very raw and I'll need to structure a little bit, but that's okay. This is what I wanted to show in this video. And if I go and look at, let's see from Friday. Okay. These are the different things that I wanted to do. Okay. I haven't done these. So let me just say cut and go to today. And these are some of my focus items. Okay. I have listened to this mix. That's pretty cool. And yeah, now if I want to go, I'm not going to go through the whole process of like actually deciding what it is I'm going to do today and eating the frog and whatever, like whatever framework you want, really, it's just about choosing from your, well, the way that I think about it is choosing from your menu of tasks and deciding what it is that you need to do. Now, deciding and prioritizing is a whole nother question, but yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. Okay, and the next thing here that I've got, well, just to show you like exactly what I'm doing, medication, I'm trialing different medications for ADHD. Well, I have been using different medications, but I'm systematically trying to review which one is the best. Vivance for me is the one that I'm currently trying, and yeah, and I'll make notes during the day. Okay, what are some of the other things that I'm doing? Um, you can see here that I've got these references, mentions of this date at the bottom. But if I close this over here, you can see all the things that are overdue. I need to get back to this person, follow up with this person. And for me, it's just being able to yeah, keep track of things on the right there. I don't go in and move the dates. Like as long as I see that nothing is coming into this thing that is like definitely a train smash, that's, uh, that's okay for me. And then tasks due this week, follow up with this person and then follow up with Lauren. Okay, cool. So what I do here is like when I have a task that is not in the short term, i.e. something I need to do today, I'll just say control E and I'll say follow up, follow up with, let's say Jemo, and then I'm going to say hashtag tasks and then 
this is now there's a whole bunch of things going on in the background, but yeah, don't want to get into the complexity here. And I'm just going to say the due date here is next week, Monday, for instance. And this will now show up in this tasks due this week, next week, Monday. And all these things that are overdue, yeah, as I say, I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty flexible about how I like attack these things. But as, as long as I know that nothing is falling through the cracks, that's over there on the right. Okay, uh, I do some time blocking here, but I'm not going to get into that. The other aspect is processing my inbox. Okay, let me actually just open up this inbox on the right here. So control inbox and then it's fine. Yeah, okay. So these are all the tasks that I have put into my Tana Capture app on my mobile over the weekend and on Friday. And oftentimes they're just like little simple, silly little things. So for instance, check MKP week out meetings. Okay, let me go to today. I'm just going to take that over there and just a reminder for myself to look at something coming up. Now you see, I don't go and tag this as tasks. I could, I could do a lot. There's a whole bunch of things that I could do, but for me, like I want to keep things as simple as possible. Okay, Gil and Clyde, this is a note for Logseek. Just, it's a friend of mine and their baby's name. So I want to be able to remember that. So I'll go and put it in Logseek because that's like my long-term memory. And I'll, I'll use the links there so that I can say, okay, cool. When I chat to this person again and I've forgotten their baby's name, what is their baby's name? Okay, Nibbly Bits. This is a bit of an interesting one. Like, I don't really know what to do here. This is like, I can just say to research, to research because, and then I can say control K move to today. And it's just like something which I've heard this weekend, which might be interesting and to research. Okay, Rory feedback. This is, I'm going to give this today. I need to give Rory feedback on websites. Okay, something that came up over the weekend again. These things here are, you can see, I'm just jumping around everywhere. And those are AI writing tools uh, that I heard about in a podcast. And I'm just gonna put that in LogSeek. I'm not showing LogSeek here because that, that's the personal stuff going on there. And reach out to Ed, I'm gonna put that here as well. And then these two things, I'm quickly gonna Google. I was watching the soccer final last night and like these are things that were mentioned in the final. Well, yeah, anyways, and I'll go and Google that and just settle my curiosity. And this is an image. I don't know why it didn't upload, but anyway, someone sent this to me. Actually, I know what it was. It was a poem. I don't have to worry about the image. I'll go and have a look at the poem again and then copy that into LogSeq for that long-term memory. So that's a very quick run through, very messy about like how I'm starting the week in Tana and basically thinking about the different projects or actions and trying to bucket them in different areas and do a little bit of planning. One of the reasons I recorded this video is because a friend of mine this weekend asked me how I manage my notes and my calendar. And I realized that people don't like watching long videos of everything. They just want to see a short, quick video showing like a very practical use case. When I go back and edit a video like this, I realize that there are so many things that I have skipped in terms of how I've structured the templates. There are different caveats about like what Tana is, how it works, it's proprietary and cloud. And lots of people will be like, oh, Tana is cloud-based not going to use it. Now I could go into that for every video, but that is going to be a waste of time. That's why the courses are there. That's why there's long comparison videos. For those of you who've been watching the channel for a long time and haven't seen any of the videos on Tana recently, I'd highly recommend just checking out the comparisons of LogSeq and Tana and also like how I'm building a second brain using both of those tools. The one being for knowledge management and the other one being for project management or action management and yeah, how I'm using them to complement each other. Now, you could probably do a lot of this stuff in LogSeq with different plugins, but I quite like having a separate system for managing my projects. And yeah, the fact that all these integrations are native and that there's this Tana Capture app, it's seamless, it's frictionless, and I really enjoy it. So I'm busy updating the Tana course. There's a lot of things that have changed, and I'm hoping that Tana has sort of crystallized into this framework and that not much is going to change so that I don't have to do too many updates in the future. But yeah, if you're wanting to use LogSeq and Tana in combination, I've also got the bundle. Have a look at the Tana course if you're only interested in Tana. It's super powerful. So I hope this was in some ways helpful for you. It's not very structured. It's not very pretty. But I think it's also nice to see behind the scenes and not have everything like laid out and like where someone's gone through the example and edited. This is very raw and yeah, hopefully will help you just to manage your information or your week a little bit better.